What's up blockheads and what up my taco fam? Today I'm gonna be doing an install on the Tacoma. Um, basically gonna be getting rid of this front grill, going with something a little more uh, minimal and uh, appealing to me aesthetically and appealing to a lot of the community. I know a lot of people end up getting rid of this grill and they go with the TRD Pro Grill which I've got sitting on the tailgate. I'll show you guys that in just a second. It's gonna be an install. We're gonna talk about the quality of the, uh, of the grill, the new one, and uh, show you guys how to do it, and we'll see how it looks afterwards. As of right now, that's what she looks like. All right, let's get to it. All right, so you guys will have to forgive me. The truck is a little dirty. I mean, it's a black truck, so <laughs> it's gonna get dirty. So yeah, like I said, today we're installing, uh, we're getting rid of this stock grill that came with the TRD Sport Tacoma. To me, this one looks like chicken wire or a cheese grater. Uh, not the biggest fan, it's a little busy. So the TRD Pro Grill, which is right here, much cleaner. Kind of helps to uh, clean up the lines of the front of the of the truck a bit. So in this one, this is the uh, the knockoff. So if you guys are wondering about the quality of the uh, of the knockoff version compared to the OEM version, uh, I'll cut to some footage of me unboxing it and putting on these letters right here. So this is pretty much how it comes uh, in a box. It had bubble wrap. It's got foam pieces on the edges there, um, and then the letters all come. Uh, separate. Uh, inspecting the quality, I mean, it feels, you know, pretty sturdy. It's not super wobbly or anything. So, close look at the quality of the front of it, the back of it. I mean, it is dirty on the on the inside, as you can see there. But I mean, I'm sure that's just from the manufacturing process, which is all good because it's going to be dirty anyways. So the one I ordered here, like I said, it is the knockoff. And it's funny because they send you the grill in one package and then they send you the letters in another little box. And it's funny because the letters aren't all the same like this, the way that one fits, you know, it's already secured on there versus the way this one is and securing under there. This little piece for the sensor, if you do have that uh, radar in the front comes out. So there's just two little tabs here, press down, down, and then you press posts out and that piece comes out. Now I do have that other sensor piece, which I'll be showing you guys here in just a second. But yeah, that's pretty much how that ins or uninstalls so that you can put the garnish right to protect that radar. Also, just to explain the lettering here, all of the double sided tape, it came separate, right? So all the double sided tape, it was all pre cut to the shape of the letters and it all came in there. Uh, and then all you have to do is peel off one side, you know, and stick it in. So like the T, whenever I'm ready to adhere it, you know, I just peel off the red and that's gonna fit there just like that. I'll actually go ahead and uh, put all of these on. Now the cool thing is they have little prongs. They're basically spaced so that you can't put it on wrong, right? Now, one thing I will comment on is the finish of the front of some of these is a little, like they're a little scuffed in some spots. Like you can see the A has a little bit of a scuff mark there. The O here has a little bit of one. Uh, the T is pretty good. The Y has a little bit, but like I said, it's one of those little things like <laughs> the amount that I paid for this plus the garnish versus what I would pay for the OEM. Like it is totally worth saving the money to me on this. I mean, it feels sturdy. I'm not going to notice a difference. I'm planning on putting the truck through hell. So, you know, if something happens, I hit a bird with it or somebody throws a rock while I'm driving on the interstate, I'm not going to be as bent out of shape about this one getting damaged versus an actual OEM one. The actual finish of of the this here, though, it's actually really good. I haven't seen any like real trouble spots on it. There's nothing really glaring that sticks out the edge isn't like perfect but you know you're not going to see that once you clip it in so i'm going to go ahead and take the adhesive off the back of these and uh get them all adhered to the grill after that we'll uninstall the stock one or the oem and we'll get the trd pro imitation one installed on there as well as the garnish and the radar and all that stuff 
So yeah, me personally, for the price difference, I think OEM was like almost $400 for most places that I was seeing it. And this one after, so like the grill, plus the cost of the, what they call the garnish or this little sensor cover, I think it was like $140. I'll drop links down below to everything. I went ahead and I installed that so you guys can see on the back here what it looks like it installs easily. I mean, you've just got two clips there and then you've got a clip that goes in right here also. I've got it all prepped and ready for the most part. You guys just saw the footage of me installing the lettering. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and take off the stock one, which is pretty easy. You need a 10 millimeter socket or wrench. And we're gonna take off the bolts here, or the screws here, and here. Take up the little tabs that are right here. Just come out just like that. So in addition to uh, removing those, we're also going to unplug the sensor, as you guys can see back in here. So whenever we take it off, obviously it's gonna stay plugged into there. So we need to disconnect it right here. So to get that little tab out, I'm gonna press in on this piece. All right, so that's unplugged. And we're just gonna pull this outwards. And it's got some friction fasteners. Oh, it's secure right here. So I need to press that through as well. There we go, stock removed. So with this, we're gonna do some work to it on the tailgate here. We're gonna need to remove the sensor here, which is a couple of screws. So one, two, three. Undo the sensor from these pieces. And then we have a couple of clips all around. So basically what we're doing is we're keeping the outer um, holder or bevel and we're taking off the center piece. So I'm gonna go ahead and do all that real quick. After we get that out, we replace it with that one, click everything back in, should be good to go. Replace the sensor into the bottom part. All right, these little prongs that are stuck in here, I just kind of straight ripped them out. <laughs> sensor comes off, just like that. Unscrew in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh shit, what Reese, Reese on a hog. <laughs> Reese, what do you think of the Tacoma? I want one. Yeah, nice. Yeah. <laughs> all right, so we got eight screws. They're all painted yellow, so out of there. And then basically the way I did this is I was holding the other side of the grill, pulling it through, and then I had a, just a flathead screwdriver and I was pressing down on the tabs and uh, it's pretty much loose. So I'm gonna lift this piece up and it leaves all that behind. So all we have is the uh, the outside part, which is what we need to mount the new one in. Set this one aside. Hopefully it lines up. All right, so everything here is snapped into place. And I don't know if you have to put the screws back in. Doesn't really line up with anything on the back side. So on this one, the screws go into the this outer you know, chrome trim piece. There's nothing like that on the new one. It's just the clips. So, you know, see like behind that screw hole is nothing. So I don't think you actually have to put the screws in this new one. Yeah, I think we're okay on screws. Just clips in. One thing to note is that whenever I put the sensor back into this one, I am going to need these pieces right here. All right, so those, so we're just going to transfer those over, place them into the new one. Now you want to have the round edge out and the squared end down or the rounded part facing the truck and the squared end facing the front of the grill. And they just snap right in just like that. So we're gonna take the uh, the radar, we'll line it all back up. Now it has these kind of key things, right? So this piece that sticks up here and on the other side that basically make you line it up correctly. So you can't really get that wrong. And it's gonna be the larger ones on the outside. So larger bolt, larger bolt, and the smaller one on the top there. And then routing this wiring. So we're gonna have to route it up to here again because this is where it plugs into, right? So you don't really have anything to plug into here. So you're gonna be using this one, plug it into that hole right there. All right, so sensor's back on, everything is clipped in. And that already looks an absolute ton better. So at this point, we're just going to put it back into the uh, front of the truck and secure it all back down, plug the sensor back in.
Oh my god, it looks so much better. It'll look a lot better when it's clean too. Also just to show you guys, radar still works fine. So if it turns turn cruise on, it says radar ready. There you go. Car is slowing down, slowing down, slowing down, slowing down. Yep. Radar works just fine. What you doing? I was riding it around before I take it. Getting some practice? Yeah. Alright, Miss Blackhead, what do you think of the new grill on the Tacoma? It looks nice. I like it. Better than the cheese grater? Yeah. Yeah. That didn't look so great. <laughs> Alright, let's hear it. My woman. I'm a lucky dude. Anyway, so that's uh, that's what the new grill looks like. I freaking love it. It's awesome. I'm gonna take it by uh, Toyota real quick and get it washed. But yeah, it's a pretty easy install. I mean, it's it's seriously like four bolts, couple screws, you know, 10 millimeter. But that's it. Guys will have to forgive the uh, compressor noise. There's a person washing cars over here. Anyways, that's how you install it, guys. Afterwards, obviously, tidy up. Like I said, I'll drop links to everything down in the description below. If you guys have a third gen Tacoma and you're interested in scooping this up, like I said, this is a knockoff, not the OEM. And it looks good to me. And it's not, I mean, it's not flimsy or anything. It feels, it feels quality. All right, hope you guys enjoyed the video. First of many installs for the Tacoma. If you guys did enjoy it, hit that like button. If you're not subscribed already, hit subscribe. Till next time you guys drive safe out there, stay vigilant. Catch you guys in the next one. Deuces.